He's the hardest working man in show business. No, not that guy. That guy. Steve Hartman. You know him as KTLA's weekend sports anchor. Reporter. A man with an encyclopedic knowledge of anything that involves balls. But when Steve isn't flaunting his wares on Channel 5, you can find him at his day job. For the past 20 years, Steve Hartman, the original loose cannon, has been at the center of sports radio chaos. The money he did, they want more. No, 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 I'm not, I didn't even know you guys aren't even on the air. Gentlemen, Petros, there must be tranquility, there must be harmony, purity, and respect. Five days a week, the loose cannons spray their radio funk all over the airwaves, locally on AM 570 and countrywide on the Fox Sports Radio Network. Steve started the show along with the original director of Monday Night Football the late and legendary Chet Forty in 1989. Since that time, in one form or another, the show has been a staple of sports talk radio in L.A. So, how have they been able to endure? Never humble, Steve has a theory. Well, first of all, you got to be with the right guys. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore, so I have to carry it by myself. Despite Steve's egomaniacal wishes, he's not by himself. The newest loose cannon, Pat O'Brien, has been in and out of the public eye since his infamous voicemail messages hit the internet and radio in 2005. But don't forget, he's covered every major sporting event worth watching, from the NBA Finals to the Olympics. So why co-host the Loose Cannon show in his return? Well, the guy likes to talk. And I love radio, you know, I love having the uh, liberty and the uh, feeling of liberation to be able to say what I want and to have more than 10 seconds to say it. Then we come to the show's We'll call it spiritual center. He's equal part Sherpa, comic relief, fashionista, Absolute and freeform rapper. Brain. Courage, wisdom, compassion. It's the world of the loose cannons. Vic the, the Brick Jacobs and his patented calling card. KTLA Channel 5? <laughs> Feeling you! They've gone from sideshow uh, to the main stage. Who doesn't know Vic? Uh, in, in Los Angeles. I mean, everyone knows Vic. So everyone always asks me the same thing of Vic. Is this an act? And I said, I wish it was. I wish there was a different side of him, you know, like a normal side. But the bottom line is, Vic is this way all the time. Steve, Pat, and Vic, now heard in over 140 radio markets across the country. But if Steve and his beautiful head of hair have their way, the Cannons will settle for nothing less than total domination. There's no limit to the future of the Cannons. We, we want to take over the world. Uh, we want to do what Zuckerberg did with Facebook. Uh, what is it, one out of 13 people? We want every single person on this planet, literally every single person, listening to this show every single day. 20 years is a long time to be on the radio. The Loose Cannons are successful because of respect, hard work, and genuine love. KTLA Sports, I'm Michael Lowe. You get out of here, too.